What's up, everybody? Calvin Bowie of FCAN Deliciousness, and today we are in Saigon, Vietnam. Right behind me is Up 252, a street side, um, a street side restaurant that specializes in seafood, especially Up. Now, what is Up? Up is um, any type of sea snail, and uh, we eat this here in Vietnam all the time. Whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, we will find a reason to go eat it. It is super affordable, super tasty, um, super local. This is like a very, very local thing to do. If you're ever in Vietnam, this is what um, your friends are going to invite you to. You sit on plastic chairs, little metal tables, and you one person in the group, or maybe two people in the group, usually nicha. And nicha, what it means is go to the market. Now, all their seafood is laid out fresh right in front of the stall. And you just say, hey, I want some of that in this style, and I want some of that in that style, and then they make it for you. Um, today, we're going to go and eat a seafood dinner, three courses and a beer for under $8, while my friend, my best friend, is eating seafood for $1,000, insert video here. I, on the other hand, am not as rich as he is, and I'm going to eat seafood for $8. So let's go on inside. Let me show you all the seafood they have. Let me show you how they make it. And then let me try to explain to you that up is more than just a dish. It's a lifestyle. Come on. Guys, all this seafood, three dishes and a beer, we're talking about under $10. That's a magnificent deal. Let's start off with the first dish. This is up hung rang mui. I can't even describe up hung, but it is, uh, is a, there's, a, there's a salted crust on the outside, and that's really where the flavor's at. We got up mam tai, Sao bơ tỏi cay. Up mong tay is finger finger snails. That's the translation of it. It's basically um, there are these snails that look like long fingers, and that's it right there. And they they stir fry it up with butter, garlic, and uh, corn. The last dish we have here is scallops that's been grilled off with scallion oil and, pe and roasted peanuts. So these three dishes and then, of course, a tiger beer. This is all going to be about $8. It's going to be amazing. Doing these seafood dinners, this is like a, a, a weekly thing. This is not like a um, oh, special event or just Christmas or Hanukkah. This is a random uh, spot here in my neighborhood. 
everything is fresh, everything is iced, you watch them cook it in front of you, nothing is frozen, and you sit on these little stools, uh, metal tables, and you drink beer, and you go along your day. In this container, there are two sauces. One is a fish sauce that's been, um, it's been mixed with, I wouldn't call it diluted, but it's been mixed with garlic, chili, lime, sugar. Then the next one is um, salt, pepper, MSG, and uh, some chili. And this is kumquat. What you do is you put a little kumquat in there. And that becomes your your dipping sauce. Now that sauce is so addicting. It goes with so much great seafood um, that you don't need anything else. They also have here this beautiful. Can you guys see that? You guys can, right? This is a green chili sauce from Yajang. And that sauce is like crack cocaine. Not that I've ever tried crack, crack cocaine before, but um, let's say I did. That's how good it is. Okay, let's start off. Um, I know you guys want to see snails more on this channel. I'm getting a lot of requests in like, hey, can you do more snails? I know the word snail sounds really weird to most people. That is what a snail looks like. Can you see that? Give it a dip in the green sauce. So good. So much fun to eat. And then you kind of lick the shell, but also try to crack off that layer of salt. Crawl up flavors that. Ooh, again. Put the pork into the snail, reverse counterclockwise, and be careful because this snail, the uphum, has a little shoe on it. How do I know? I've eaten that shoe a lot of times. When I first moved to Vietnam, I didn't know that was unedible. I'm like, oh, this is um interesting. It's quite tough. Little did I know. Every uphum has a shoe. Mm. Now, on this plate, there is some herbs. This is raw rum, Vietnamese coriander. And you kind of eat the up, and you pull it out, take up the Jordan, give it a dip. Mm. Up is really about being being with your friends, eating great food, and textures. Up is really about the textures. Eat some um, leafy greens, and that is up food. Next dish we're gonna have is the up mom tai sao mo tai gai. So up mom tai is these, it's like a finger, or it could look like something else. Let's just call it a finger, because that's what's called in Vietnamese. And they stir fry it with butter, garlic, and chili. So let's get this into a sauce. Any sauce is fine. There's no one sauce or the other. The fish sauce is really nice. The salt, pepper, MSG, uh, kumquat, and chili is really addicting. Again, textures. Up is really fun to eat because it kind of chews back at you. But the more and more I look at this, the more and more it does look like a... Um... Leave it in the comments below what you think this, this looks like. I'm going to do all three. I'm a madman. It's a little bit of a chili, salt, pepper, kumquat, fish sauce, and green chili. Uh, green chili sauce.
It's only fun to eat. Corn, sweet. The butter is really rich. Now, no episode of Nyo on the street. Nyo is literally the term of being with your friends, drinking, eating. Would be complete without my tiger beer. And at like 80 cents each beer, you can't be. Yeah, how about Crisp, refreshing, cold. And can I say, 80, 80 cents for a beer? Good deal. We're gonna finish off with one of my favorite dishes. This is scallops with scallion oil and roasted peanuts. The reason why I love it is because although big scallops are great uh, when you can get them, they're not indigenous here. So these baby scallops here do me just right. There's a little trash can in front of me. I'm not littering. Put that green sauce on there. Mm. Have you ever been to Vietnam? There's something about the scallion oil and roasted peanuts. Combination between the two are so good. This is literally how we live in Vietnam. Hang out, t-shirt weather, set up plastic chairs, eating fresh seafood for a few bucks. Absolutely delicious. And for this one, I really like the the green um, the green chili seafood sauce. Because it's <clears throat> it's acidic, it's spicy, it's rich from the condensed milk. I love eating seafood here in Vietnam. Not only is it fresh, it's affordable, but it's so readily available. Whether you know, you're know you eating uh, at a local spot like I have here near my house or... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the bill. <laughs> um, or you go to one of the bigger spots in town. You always get fresh seafood and it's one of the best things about living here. That meal, all in 190000 it is under $8 for sure. Um, and I'm so satisfied, I'm happy, I got a chance to get out of the house and just experience Vietnam. Listen, if you're ever in Saigon, if you want to get outside the city a little bit and into my neighborhood, which is District 2, I'll leave the address down below, up 252. Up is means a snail, sea snail. And uh, 252 is their actual address. You'll find that a lot of restaurants here in Vietnam, they basically take their street number of their address and then they make the restaurant out of it. Kind of cool. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, comment if you ever had Vietnamese up, if you ever had a seafood dinner like that. If you have, let me know what you thought about it. And if you haven't, let me know if you want to try it. Maybe next time you're in Vietnam, I'll take you guys out to one of these places where we'll crack a few beers, eat some seafood, and uh, shoot the shit. My name is Calvin Bowie, AKA Captain Charisma. I will see you guys later.